Hi, I'm Dr. Imran bin Tajuddin. I'm a senior lecturer in the Department of Malay Studies and the Department of Communications and New Media at NUS. Hi, my name's Dr. Rimi Khan. I'm a senior lecturer in the Department of Communications and New Media here at NUS. I coordinate curriculum planning and the final year projects of the Master of Arts in Arts and Cultural Entrepreneurship. Our curriculum combines conceptual innovation with globally relevant case studies and scenario-based learning. I emphasise how arts and cultural entrepreneurship is the means by which artistic creators, scholars and policymakers have critically engaged with sites, peoples and practices to effect change. We encourage students to bring their diverse perspectives and backgrounds into the classroom and to use these as the basis for their learning and reflection. My name is Eileen Chai. My name is Tichin Wang Mo. Hi, my name is Yang Fu Shi. Hello, everyone. My name is Henri, and uh, I am currently studying Master of Arts and Cultural Entrepreneurship. So I joined this program because I saw the programs like Culture Policy, Culture Industry and the Law, Approaches to Art and Culture Entrepreneurship. These are the topics that I did not learn before. The huge access to research work and data, best practices, case studies and varied reading materials help not only to expand our knowledge, but also to allow us to connect the dots between global and local perspective. And uh, it is really important to have such a program in Asia uh, where the critical thinking is not solely based on Western cultural system, uh, but more catered into our own cultural background. My impression of the program thus far has simply been amazing. Our lecturers who are experienced in their respective fields facilitate and unpack with us the knowledge we need to know to become professional arts and cultural entrepreneurs. Uh, but the design of these courses will never let you just sit there and think whether you can make it through since it just started to roll and you have to rock to follow. Uh, content aside, I appreciate the diversity. The policies and strategies are all new to me, but through class discussions, I learned through lived experiences which helps me understand the content and gives me insight on the industry from different parts of the world. Uh, it could be intense, especially with five modules uh, in terms of the workload and tight schedule. Um, however, this arrangement is also pushing me to think beyond my habitual way of thinking uh, to disassemble common issues. Um, I would recommend it to two types of people. The first one being the type um, who wanted to challenge themselves and throw themselves in the new field. And the other type refers to those who identified a social gap and are eager to learn new approaches to fill it. Um, the course and its content is versatile, so I'd recommend it to anyone who is interested in the arts and culture industry and to those who want to explore the industry without having to make a commitment to a specific major. Now, I actually recommend it to most of my friends when I start in this course. I love the way how all the professors uh, criticize what is happening from the past and nowadays. And I love how professors bring in some discussion on Web3, like NFT. It's a good to see how different people look at these new media from different angles. Try to enjoy the classes. The learning is not solely academic. It is also based on opinions that relate to you on a personal level. So voice out your opinions and listen as much as possible. It could be like really overwhelming at the very beginning, but you will be surprised that you discover some new talents of yourself. This is a master's program from a graduate school. This demands significant commitment from the candidates as we undergo the vigorous world-class curriculum that the university has paid for us. So, uh, of course, finish homework earlier, and, but most importantly, what could you learn from this process is more important. It's not about the number from the marks, but about how deep you could understand the topic and relate to what you want to do in the future. The pathways imbuing us values of innovation, resilience, excellence, respect and integrity so that we may be transformed and be empowered to be leaders in the global interconnected world. 
And my hope is that students will walk away from this master's program as arts and cultural leaders and innovators. My sincere hope is that students will develop the capability to engage both theoretically and practically with real life issues and thereby become agents for change through their respective sectors. Whether that's the museum and heritage sector, in film and new media, arts management or cultural planning, or something else, there's a world of possibilities out there. Join us. We look forward to welcoming you to NUS soon.